somebody wrote and said, how do I cope with stress on 13 year old with meltdowns? And I'm going to assume that both things, stress that causes the meltdowns for the 13 year old and stress for you. And I got to say, let's all take a breath together, right? <clears throat> because man, I get it. Uh, it's, this is a very stressful thing. We were talking about this yesterday, that when your kid has meltdowns, it doesn't matter how high functioning your kid is. If your kid has meltdowns, you don't know when they're coming and where they're coming and you live in fear of them and it is stressful. So I want you to, I want you to do a couple of things for yourself and then a couple of things for your kiddo, right? The first thing that I want to do for your, for yourself is that you got to get your wagons in a circle and talk to friends and family and say, I'm, I'm going to need some help. I don't even know what the help is going to look like yet, but I'm going to need some help. Who's got a little extra time? And you can tell them, I might be asking you to come over and be at the house with me for, um, sometimes, or I might ask you to um, stay with my son while I go for a walk. Or I might ask you to be here while I take a nap. I might ask you to help me with the laundry. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be asking for yet, but I'm about to do something that's really, really tough and I need some help and support. You know, it won't take very much and you'll immediately see who's on your page and who's not. And try not to take it personally when people are like, uh, I don't know if I'm, if people do that, they're not the people for this, right? But there are some people who are like, yes, honey, no, what do you need? Tell me what you need. You call me and I'll be there, right? Those are the people you want on your team, right? So, um, because you, when you have to do something tough, you got to be in the right kind of rested, right? Uh, you got to have the right perspective going into things and it will help with your stress too. That, you know, if you've, if you've gotten a little bit of rest, maybe gotten some time off, or had somebody help with the housework for a few minutes, it will help you to face this head on. Because during the time that you get a little bit of time, I want you to find some quiet time to just breathe. We're going to be talking about, in fact, I'm just going to go there right now uh, for our um, mindfulness moment. We made a, um, a recording of a meditation uh, a couple of years ago because I, I personally find it very hard to meditate. I do. And I find it easier to listen to somebody while I'm meditating. So uh, we did a meditation and it's me talking to you for 11 minutes. It is considered a chakra meditation, um, where you, where we talk about the different chakras. It's just a visualization. And, um, and, and, it, and it's about being able to get through the stressful moments. It's 11 minutes long. And I know that it's hard to carve out 11 minutes. And, and Samantha has the, the code for it on the screen right now. And we'll also post this on Facebook for those of you who are listening on iTunes. We'll post it on Facebook for you. So it's 11 minutes. And I guarantee you that if you do it and just breathe through it and, and listen to it, it will help you to reduce your stress throughout the day. It will help you to know that you're doing the right thing. It will help you to know that you're an awesome parent and that you have gifts that you don't even know you have. Okay. So, and whether you do this meditation or something else, maybe start small. I like to tell you three breaths. Every time you get in the car, you sit for a moment, take three deep breaths, three deep out, right? That is, makes a world of difference in how much stress you have. Um, and so maybe start there, work up to something longer. This is a free meditation. There are other ones that you can get on iTunes that you can buy after you've done this or before you've done this. If you don't want to listen to my voice anymore, uh, cause you may be sick of me, I get it. Uh, but there are meditations out there and, um, you've got to gift yourself a little bit of time. <laughs> 